Tare Pagacha descent attack before disappearing into the clouds. A very rain affected finish to Volta Catalunya stage two. This was the finish up to Valter dos Mil, uh, finish starting on the coast in Mataro. So good weather there. It looked pretty nice at the finish earlier in the day. Five degrees is all right if it's dry, and it's a long old stage. 190Ks through Girona up to the Pyrenees, and Valter dos Mil, as the name suggests, finishes over 2,000 meters altitude. It's a long, hard climb, 30-minute climb. Pagacha during the stage before coverage, Went on like a, an attack with Domen Novak, but it turned out that he needed to do a pee. Uh, they had laughs about it the car afterwards, uh, but that was pretty funny. Before coverage, we were all seeing the, t- the live ticker being thinking <laughs> what, what's going on. But it all settled down when TV images came through. Non-threatening breakaway with Jimmy Janssen's Colioni. They, went, they had about seven minutes earlier in the day, uh, but the rain started to set in. And this meant that it got very cold, or much colder for the riders. They started in summer conditions in the morning on the coast. Groschart on the front controlling that breakaway. And we've got a couple of descents coming up before Voltaire. And it gets really cold up there, especially if you're wet and damp. Janssen's dropped on the descent. And UAE team Emirates bossing the front. They did a TTT, as I said, for Pegasus to a P break. And then did that... On this descent, creating splits or someone dropped the wheel and then Pagacha just said he, he wanted to go on the front and just attack on the descent afterwards because he's just having fun out here. There's no Vingegaard, no Roglic, no Avenapool and he's making it look easy so far in this uh, Volta of Catalunya doing as he pleases on the downhill with Visma Lisa bike having to react, having to chase when they probably didn't expect it. They lost Bart Lemon with a fractured collarbone uh, in yesterday's stage, so they're already one man down as well. But Janssens and Fernandez get back together, and the Peloton regroups with Sivakov in the gilet there. They got Almeida, Soler, even though Vine didn't start this morning, they still have plenty of climbing support UAE team Emirates up to this finish, where the weather looked okay, but there was cloud cover and wind, and it was raining even further down in the valley, and Janssens was saying, oh, can I just drop back now he dropped Fernandez lead outs begin into the base of the climb we still have images at this point it's 12 k's half an hour climb or just over for the best of them Ineos with Hater on the left hand side in the black jackets they're riding for Egan Bernal in this race and here it starts Sivakov hits the front Almeida behind him somewhat surprisingly uh, before Soler and here's look at the EF rider on the right hand side here can't really see exactly what happens. Maybe he gets his bars tangled with the Astana rider or got chopped from the right-hand side. There's a crash in the positioning battle at the start of the climb. Not ideal if you're wanting to get a good result, if you're caught behind that. But the images started to be lost here. UAE, though, we could surmise, was setting a pretty fierce tempo from the bottom of the climb. And it was Almeida on the front. Soler's second wheel we can see distinctively from his style. Then Pagacha, Kuz, Autobruks for Visma Lisa bike in positions four and five. And we don't ever get to see the attack of Pagacha, but what we can see is that Almeida was setting a fierce pace. He was splitting. This is still with a long way to go on the climb. He even dropped Soler out of his own train uh, before he even pulled. And so Almeida was once again, after being very, very good yesterday, excellent again today, dropping Kus with his pull. He's the Visma Lisa bike rider pulling out of the line to the left-hand side. So one of the own big contenders or other contenders for a podium on GC, Koos already gone. The images come back for enough to see that Pagacha has attacked up the road and he's got a big gap. So with no Vingegaard here, with the riders behind already probably thinking about second place, looking behind across the road, attacking each other and Almeida muddying up proceedings as well. One thing was for certain, we didn't even need to see it. We knew that Tani Pagacic was not going to get caught. And it, the only question was how much time he would take on this climb. With three k's to go, he already had over a minute. Images came back after they came above the clouds and Lenny Martinez and Landa looked the strongest. Maybe Alexander Vlasov was a bit smarter than Martinez or maybe a bit more defensive because Landa counters off Vlasov's acceleration and or Martinez acceleration 
and he has got a gap going for the podium positions on GC to do the best possible. So Remco's Tour de France domestique looking very, very good in uh, on vault there in Catalonia. So Quickstep have to be happy with Landa, even though he wasn't probably happy with the cold conditions, losing the feeling in his hands. Vlasov still rugged up in a in a jacket. He's having a very good couple of weeks, Vlasov. They just announced his extension. But we see the, stat- the uh, static finish line images of Pogaccia rolling through the number one for a reason. And this was probably his best ever uh, 20 to 30 minute climbing performance in March of his career so far. It helped that it was uh, not a uni puerto, but a relatively easy stage before, but he's in very, very good shape, Pagaccia. Not just doing a long solo in Strade, not just in Milan San Remo punching on the Poggio, but here putting everyone to the sword on a 30-minute high-altitude climb with Landa and Lasov, best of the rest, but big, big gaps on stage two. Over a minute, nearly a minute and a half to Landa, who just puts Vlasov off the wheel right at the end. And Almeida actually finishes just ahead of Martinez. He rode a really good final as well. So GC looking pretty over. Pagaccio with a 1.30 gap already if you take the bonies yesterday. And the big gaps all the way down to 10th. Here's what he had to say after the stage. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> Greetings today. Uh, congratulations on your first stage win here at La Volta Catalunya. It was, uh, on theory, a tough uh, stage, but the conditions have made it even harder. What's it been like? Yeah, we started with a really nice weather. It was uh, like summer and then uh, we saw big clouds and we were thinking, oh, maybe, maybe we can survive until the final climb without rain. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, it started to rain already second last climb. And, yeah, uh, the conditions were really tough and yeah, it's really, really hard climb and yeah, also on altitude, uh, you could feel already uh, the high altitude, so it was really tough finish, yeah, and, uh, but I'm happy to, to win. If we forget about the weather, would have this been the script that you would have chosen for this stage? Because we saw you go right at the start with Novak and then uh, with 35 to go, you also tried to stretch on the uh, downhill. Was that the story that you were expecting? Uh, no, uh, at the start, yeah, that was a pretty fun moment with Oman. Um, but yeah, um, then in the final, uh, the downhill, I was... Yeah, uh, I was really feeling uh, comfortable on the downhill and uh, yeah, uh, I just went my own pace and uh, yeah, nothing, nothing special. Okay, thank you today. We'll see you during the week. I hope you enjoyed the video. We've got another mountain stage tomorrow. Will Pagacha go back to back or will someone else step up in those high mountains? Hopefully they do. I'll see you with a recap then. Ciao.